So, okay, Hope, um, we're going to go over to you. I think we're ready for Ed. Over to me. Hi, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Jamie. And, uh, okay. and thanks for letting us know where everybody can find everything in the Academy as well. We'll be sending out an email after this with all those links so you guys will have what you need. Um, so let me go ahead and properly introduce our speaker, uh, Ed Becknell. So Ed Becknell is a senior advisory software engineer with over 30 years of professional experience. He's from Louisiana and has a degree in electrical engineering. Ed has been interested in free energy science and technology since the mid 1980s when he first met Joseph Newman. He has served as the science and technology ambassador for Ubuntu Planet USA and has been working in the fields of alternative energy science and technology for the past three years. He is currently working on two projects related to free energy and one on electrogravitics. Ed is also interested in healing energy technologies, including the inventions of Royal Raymond Reif and George Lakovsky, a Lakovsky device you can see uh, Paul Babcock's multi-wave oscillator here. And there's a link in the letter that we sent out to so you can see that. And we all also hope to have Paul on one of our calls soon, so you can watch for announcements. So with all of that said, please everybody join me in welcoming Ed. Thanks so much, Ed, for coming. And I'm gonna go ahead and, and give it away to you and just take it away, Ed. Thanks so much. Okay, uh, thanks everybody for being here. Um, well, what I'm going to present tonight is uh, an invention of uh, a guy named Gerard Marin. He's a, a free energy researcher and inventor that lives in British Columbia. I was just on the phone with him today, as a matter of fact, to try to get an update on him, from him on where he's at with, uh, with his work. Uh, the device that I'm going to show you um, originally was, it's based on Nikola Tesla's hairpin circuit. Uh, it was originally um, invented by him just to uh, test his theory of being able to uh, attain uh, resonant, uh, resonance with energy gain using the, uh, the spark gaps. So what I'm going to do, I have the, the circuit all set up right here ready to show you. So I'm going to turn my computer over here. I don't have a cameraman, so excuse me, <laughs> over to the circuit. And I'm going to turn off the lights because this is going to be a light show. <laughs> Okay, so we can see that um, over here on this end, so it's kind of dark, I have two uh, lithium batteries, 18 volts, that's supplying the power to the circuit, and it's going into a, a DC motor controller, and the DC, this motor controller is going to a 24-volt DC motor, so this is a very simple, there's no solid state circuitry in here apart from this controller. So it's very easy to build. You can build this for about $200. That's what I like about it. Uh, this DC motor is coupled to uh, an evacuation pump for uh, a dishwasher. You could also use a evacuation pump for a washing machine. The reason that this is used, this type of pump, is because it's a special type, it can be used as a special type of motor. Inside of this pump, there is a, a yoke that is made from stainless steel, well, steel plates, laminated steel plates. And if you remove that yoke and you suspend it from a string so that it's free to vibrate and you tap it with the screwdriver, it will resonate like a tuning fork. The motors that Gerard has tested, the pumps that he's tested that don't work, don't have that mechanical resonance. So that has a critical part to play in the over unity that you get with this device is you have to have that resonance, that mechanical resonance, which is, which comes from the crystalline structure of the steel that comprises the yoke. Inside of the yoke, there's a cylindrical circumferentially polarized magnet that spins and it will generate 
an alternating current output, alternating voltage, which will be at the frequency of whatever the RPMs is of the DC motor that's driving it. Now over here, the output from this pump, which is being used as a motor, I mean as a generator, not as a motor, goes into a high voltage transformer, which will give you a 10 times gain. Uh, this is actually for a fluorescent, I think it's for a fluorescent light. If anyone wants the, uh, the complete parts list to build this, I can provide it for you, okay, in the schematics. So the output from uh, the high voltage transformer goes into this high pressure sodium lamp. And from the sodium lamp, it goes to a simple little 40 watt incandescent light bulb, which is going to display some pretty remarkable um, phenomena when I turn this thing on. And then from the watt, this 40 watt light bulb, it goes into a series of spark gaps. I'm using three. It's probably optimal to use two. The more, no, the more spark gaps that you have, the higher the RPMs you'll have to use to jump those gaps, to make them jump the gaps. Uh, they're made out of this tungsten rods. Now the output side of these tungsten rods goes into a pancake coil, okay? So this, and then from the pancake coil, it goes back into the transformer to close the circuit. This pancake coil will, this is a Nikola Tesla invention again. If uh, you um, sit on this thing, uh, you can feel this energy going through your body. That's why it's called a bioresonance generator, because it can actually serve to rejuvenate the cells in your body. Uh, Gerard claims that um, it also has other amazing properties. I mean, he said he's claimed that he's put, in, put vinegar on this thing and let it sit there for a while, and it actually sweetens the vinegar. I haven't tried that, so I don't, can't confirm that. Uh, so anyway, what I'm going to do, I'm going to start it up now and I'll show you some of the things that it will do. It's pretty amazing. This is no Hi, I'm James from the Clean Energy Academy, coming to you here from my QEG lab in the United States. Hi, I'm Tavon from the Clean Energy Academy and I'm coming to you live from our lab in Morocco. The Clean Energy Academy is a member-only community that is the home of the QEG and Mini QEG. This is the only platform of its kind in the controversial industry of energy inventions that allows for safe sharing of ideas in a troll-free environment. The Academy holds a tremendous amount of in-depth technical information, reports, schematics, and engineering data based around the co-development of open source alternative energy devices. You can learn more about our QEG project by visiting our website, cleanenergyacademy.com, or by watching our documentary film, Chasing Tesla, which also can be found on our website. Twice a month we hold live calls that cover the latest updates on our QEG project work and also include special guest speakers and presentations on related energy topics. Members get invites to our live calls and archives. Non-members can purchase archives of our calls at our online shop. Members also get access to our project reports and our builders forums. These forums include documentation around testing results, experimentation descriptions, and detailed project explanations. We also have a wide selection of members-only video galleries that feature project footage that you won't find anywhere else. We have some additional sign-on bonus features and low-cost monthly membership plans for instant access now available at the link below. Again, click the link below for more information on where you can get archives of our live calls and access to all the benefits of being a member of the Clean Energy Academy. So thanks for watching, and I hope to see you join the exciting co-development work at the Clean Energy Academy.